Hey there viewers, are you watching this on your morning commute? For many people, there's no part of the day more dreadful. Being stuffed on a crowded train or bus is nauseating, especially when it's moving slowly and you're late. Let's talk about six ways to make your morning commute happier. Do I make conversation? How important is coffee? Wait, I need to keep a diary? We're talking all that and more. Number one, writing a journal. Writing your thoughts down is one of the best ways to stay sane. If you're stuck on a bus with a long way to go, writing in your journal can save you. Is there an important work assignment due later in the day? Studies show that journaling can actually reduce stress by helping you get rid of negative thoughts. It's even shown to be useful to crumble your paper up in a ball and throw it away after your writing. In a way, this symbolizes clearing your mind. Have you ever heard of the amygdala? This is the part of the brain which controls intensity of your emotions. Brain scans have indicated that writing in a journal will reduce activity in the amygdala. This is why you feel so much better afterwards. By journaling, I don't mean you need to carry a giant book everywhere you go. It's 2020. You can jot your morning thoughts into the notes on your phone if you'd like. This, of course, applies best to that exhausting commute you endure on the bus or subway. Sometimes it's best to gather your thoughts while staring out of the window. Maybe even observe the things you see on board. What are the other passengers doing? What do they like? What are their thoughts at this very moment? It's your journal. Whatever you write is your little secret. Number two, listen to music. If you're not in the writing mood, why don't you just lay back in your seat with your earbuds in? It's great to listen to music and escape from reality for a bit. This is certainly my favorite pastime while commuting. Much like keeping a journal, research has pointed towards plenty of great benefits that music provides. For one, listening to music can decrease your stress level and put your mind in a much calmer state. We all have times where we wake up anxious about the day ahead. For many people, it's a constant feeling. What better way to ease your anxiety than listening to some soothing tunes? By the way, emphasis on the word soothing. You don't want to be listening to something loud and angry. It may just have the opposite effect of what's intended. And it's not just music that can come to your rescue in these times. Thanks to our magical phones, the quick touch of a keypad allows us to access more content than we can handle. If you're on your morning commute, perhaps you can listen to something funny. If you have a podcast subscription, catch up on that. Listening to a public figure rant about their problems into a microphone is a therapeutic way of dealing with your own. By the way, this also applies to those driving to work. Your blind hatred for those holding up traffic might dissipate with the sound of a good beat. Are you finding this video interesting so far? Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Remember, hit the like button and ring the notification bell to stay up to date on all of our great bestie content. Number three, talk to someone. This pick's not for everyone. Only certain people are the talkative type, and it takes a certain personality to strike up a conversation with a random stranger. The uninviting setting of a crowded bus doesn't exactly scream meet new people. I'm not saying to spill your grievances to the person sitting next to you. How about saying something along the lines of, nice weather we're having, or if it's gross outside, maybe even say rotten day out there. Or how about even, hello? Nerve-wracking, isn't it? A kind greeting is enough to catch someone off guard these days. Whatever your opener is, this is a great method of breaking out of your shell. We often spend our days keeping to ourselves, too afraid to make a connection. When you start your morning too shy to speak to people, it usually lays the groundwork for a boring and lonely day ahead. Give it a go and talk to someone. Number four, change your route. This is a way to really switch up your commute. Taking the same route to work day in and day out is exhausting. It makes you hate traveling to work. Staring out the window seeing the same boring scenery is enough to have you dozing off. It's less of a way to keep yourself busy and more of a way to miss your stop. Here's a personal example. To get to work in the morning, I used to take an hour-long bus ride. This traveled uptown on a single road. After a while, a new construction job added an extra half hour to my commute. Since the road was reduced to one lane, my ride to work became unbearably slow. The way home was even worse, since all I wanted to do was fall asleep. You know how uncomfortable it is to shut your eyes on a bus. I'd always be worried that my head would fall on someone's shoulder. Soon after, I realized that a change was in order. I decided that I would find a new route to work and take the subway instead. While it certainly wasn't scenic, it allowed me to expand my horizons. I could label myself as a subway commuter, city life at its finest. Now, I'm aware that most of you don't have rapid transit in your towns. If this is the case, try changing the bus route. Not only will you find yourself in a different setting, you may also get to work quicker. Before we continue, do you ever get curious about the human body? I know it's a random question, but we've got a great video you should check out. Don't forget to learn about seven body parts you don't need. Now, back to our discussion about your morning commute. Number five, meditate. 
Now, I'm not talking about sitting in the middle of a train aisle and blocking people's way. That mysterious, funky odor has passengers aggravated enough. If listening to music and writing in a journal is out of the question, try to sit back in your seat and meditate. There is a misconception about meditation. You don't have to sit on the floor with your legs crossed and hum for an hour. Meditation is the act of gaining mental clarity by focusing on a particular object, thought, or activity. However you choose to do that, that's up to you. Your ride to work in the morning could be the perfect method. If you're alone, sit back, close your eyes, and take a few deep breaths. If you're driving to work, this is something you'll want to avoid. I don't know too many drivers who can pull off swerving in and out of lanes with their eyes closed, unless you've entered the matrix or something. Studies have shown that frequent meditation can help reduce anxiety and depression. Meditating can also benefit your thought process, quality of sleep, and general mood. A quick meditation session with breathing exercises is an ideal preparation for the day ahead. You never know what you'll encounter during the workday. What seems like an easy shift can erupt into chaos at the drop of a dime. Number 6. Get Coffee Do you like hot beverages in the morning? I'm talking about something that gives your engine that proper jump. One of the things I look forward to before a workday is stopping by my favorite coffee shop and grabbing a cup. This normally happens after I hop off the train. There's something that also feels so rewarding about it. I didn't really even have to do anything. While it's smart to keep tabs on the amount of coffee you're drinking, limiting your intake to one cup shouldn't pose a huge problem. When you're feeling tired, some caffeine will supply you with that much needed energy boost. Coffee also carries a ton of other awesome benefits. If your job requires you to be moving around constantly, it allows you to keep aware and enhance your physical performance. On the health side, a moderate amount of coffee holds no shortage of benefits. It holds several important nutrients. Take vitamin B, for example. Who knew it could also burn fat and lower your risk of type 2 diabetes? If you're feeling generous on any particular day, feel free to grab coworkers' coffee as well. It might be a good lead-in to that morning conversation. Do you enjoy your morning commute? Would you consider any of these tips after watching this video? Let us know in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Enjoyed this video? Hit like, share, and subscribe to Bestie. Wait! What kind of bestie would we be if we didn't tell you about our other awesome videos? Go ahead, choose the left or right video and enjoy.